Okay, this is Transmetal 2 Dinobot. I am going to be doing a video customizing follow along. And today we will be doing these guys. I don't know if you can see this very well. These are little coffins filled with spiders and goo. Well, one spider filled with goo. Um, they come sealed. They came in uh, this box for Halloween. Um, I'm sorry about the delay. I'm working on the angle. Um, coffin putties. It really nice goo. It, it, the goo itself works really good for uh, dioramas or stuff like that. You know, if you want to have slime or busting out and hitting Ghostbusters or whatever. Um, but it comes 12 to a case. Um, I think this was. Fourteen dollars or something like that. Um, uh, me and a, a friend on the forums, uh, he wanted some of the coffins and, um, painted, and I said I'd paint them for him uh, if he'd let me keep a couple of them. So um, it actually worked out pretty good. Here is one of the finished products, and you can see here is a coffin with the spider and the goo removed has this webbing on here. Um, here's one of the finished products. I'm not entirely sure if you can see this very well. Let me move the light closer. Um, that actually works kind of better. Um, it's wood colored. I painted it um, very nice, I think, but you know, not to my own horn. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do this today. So, what you need, first of all, you're going to need one of these coffins. It comes with stickers on the back. You're going to need to strip them off. I stripped mine off with uh, some goo gone. Um, you have this coffin. It opens up. You're going to need four colors. I am using the uh, Delta Delta Creative uh, Air Dry Perm Enamel. This is for ceramic paint. It is a it is a uh, enamel acrylic designed for painting. Um, ceramics and stuff like that. You're supposed to be able to bake it in the oven and it'll dry. So I found it works absolutely marvelous for everything I do. Mini maids, transformers, action figures, whatever. It doesn't chip. It doesn't wear out. <coughs> Pardon me. It um, works really good. It comes in a variety of colors. I don't know if you can see uh, over here. I've got all these colors over here. Um, for wood, you're really only going to need four colors. You're going to need black, you're going to need raw sienna, you're going to need chocolate or brown, or whatever the case may be, whatever you're, you're, you're going to call it, and then uh, I'm using candlelight. It is a, a light, kind of creamy yellow, kind of like a cream corn color. Um, any variations on these should work very good. Uh, first of all, and then you're going to need a um, couple paint brushes and some sandpaper. I'm using this emery board. It's an emery cube. And I just like to come along and sand down just a little bit to give it a little texture, a, a little more of... Uh, this is supposed to be wood, so if you just come along and uh, rub it down, it will help it. In my opinion, it helps the paint stick just a little bit better. I mean, the paint sticks fine on its own. I painted a couple dozen of these, but uh, it just helps it look more like a wood color, wood finish. You can see it's kind of uh, uh, frosted now, I guess you could say. Um, so just sand it down real quick. I'm going to be starting off with a paintbrush. I'm not sure what type of paintbrush this is. It's soft bristle. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, you're going to use the candlelight. And so, I just take the top off, and I start painting. And I like to paint these uh, put together. And so I just grab it by one end, and just start painting. And you're going to notice that it doesn't like sticking very well. And the Prob you're going to think immediately, oh, well, that's not going to be near enough paint. You know, you're going to need two or three coats. Well, usually with this enamel paint, it sticks really good, and it's thick enough that I usually don't put a second coat on there. Um, with this color, this candlelight, I'm basically using this as a primer. I have 
I think there was two or three that I put a second coat on, or, or didn't put a second coat on, rather. The rest of them I did. I didn't see much difference, because we're going to be putting four layers of paint on here. Um, so you can paint it, you can you double up on this layer. If you're using a thinner paint, I would definitely uh, put two coats on, like if you're using testers or uh, Tamina or something like that, uh, anything like that, that I would definitely put a second coat on there. Um, I'm going to put this on and we'll see how this goes. But right now, see, you can see it's still clear down through here, but it has this nice... Uh, even coat. I, the, the thing about painting wood that I have discovered, do not worry about brush strokes because wood is naturally grained on its own and the brush strokes add a sense of um, <sighs> chaos, if you will, the, the natural order of life, the wonder of God's creation, all that jazz. Um, the thing that, the, the only reason you would want a second coat, in my opinion, uh, I don't know if you can see this very well. You can see, you can still see the spider webs all up in there. Um, that's kind of hard to get rid of. Um, I'm going to let that dry, and I will come back. I will touch up the bottom on here, and we'll finish that up, um, and that will be done once I come back.